Reuter gives him one, that's Robbie Reuter down the ground giving one, it wasn't particularly uh, effective sort of a lead, he punt kicks now in the Reuter direction, it's punched away from him, a chance for Carrillo, hand pass, oh yes, got it away just in time there to McNamara, he's headed straight for the boundary line, he knows what's happening to Darren McNamara, out there is Mark Brown, so too is, uh, look like Canellos puts it, but a ball eludes both of them and over the boundary line she goes, well done to Darren McNamara, he knows what he's doing out there, Ronnie just headed straight for the fence. 26 and a half minutes gone in the final term. 10 points the margin. Up they go. Lang got it to the direction there of the interchange play. No, it's not. It's Kelvin Gray having run on the ball. And, uh, well, Kelvin, can he do those vital things that he's been known to do? He's a very tough and tenacious little footballer. Doesn't yeah. mind a dash. They need someone to do something brilliant here, don't they? Just someone to have a bit of a dash and a few bounces at the boundary umpire. Throws it back into play. Lang does the ruck work. It's knocked away from him on this occasion. Moran's in there. Taken away from him. Goes back to Gray. Kicks on that left foot. Well, good. Well kicked. Well weighted kick up the woods. Well, nearly to half forward but battering up there. Mostert's hand passes for the safety of the boundary line. Doesn't find it on this occasion. Oh, that, that's well stolen, Ronnie. Was not that well stolen? I thought it was getting out of bounds. But it was well stolen there from Carrillo. And they go down Deep into attack, looking down there for Keating. The ball eludes him and O'Toole. It's gone out of bounds. That was great work. Yeah, that was uh, Just Mickey O'Toole. Mickey O'Toole, was it? Yeah, back on the ground for Yeah, I, Gee, it was well stolen for a player who's not possessed of great pace. Uh, great judgment, though, Mickey O'Toole, and did it well. Well, the ball picked up well there behind the pack was Cullen. Kicked out of the pocket, sees that Watson giving uh, Mark O'Toole a, a bit of curry. Screws the ball back down to the uh, opportunity of Lang. Hell without the Moran. ball. Moran butted up well. Advantage paid. Good umpiring. Rob Hallett elects to go straight down the centre. Shortest way home for mine. Howard couldn't take the footy. Zulik, not happy, was disgruntled because he thought he was manhandled. Pass, good one. Mostert's and, a good uh, kick. I think you'll find Mostert's drop punt pass against Peter Canellas. Kelvin Keating right to the goal mouth. And the Eastern Suburbs boys are not happy with Peter Canellas. Well, he was going to have a shot from a fair way out, was he? Now it's just to give me goal, and that will be all, Ronnie. She's all over. Yep. Yibbity, yibbity. Cal Keating comes in. He punt kicks for goal. He puts it through. He puts it over the bike track and over the round and round about and everything else that's out there, Ron. And another goal goes on the board of Carrillo. They've steadied under pressure, and they've got to take the points in this exciting game here at Richmond Crescent, in which we've seen some sensational solo performances. Peter Lang and Robbie Reuter doing well for Eastern Suburbs in the goal-kicking department. And, of course... Uh, Marco O'Toole and Paul Baker bobbing up down on the Carrillo forward line, kicking most of their goals. Well, Carrillo 17-11, 1-1-3. Now lead Eastern Suburbs 15-7-97. And uh, that is a margin of 16 points, Cookie. Into time on a little final quarter. Bradley Wood was by Bird Cameron, Chartered Accountants, for all your taxation and uh, budgeting, financial planning. Gee whiz, I tell you what, and even to save a dollar, very, very economical accountants, Bird Cameron, and they're the people to see if you want to get a good result on your tax return. Back to the centre of the ground, waiting on the umpire to start play. The, the, the just about died out there now, I think. Up goes Lang. He's tried very hard today. Knocks the ball to the ground. Howard grabs it like the robot as Mickey Howard. Punt kicks the ball. Tumbles it, in fact, up towards half forward. Or slap over the top. Here's a chance for O'Toole to run and kick his seventh. He goes bang on the right foot this time. He's hooked it too far. One point only on the board there to Mark O'Toole. I've got that. She's first behind for the day, according to me, Ronnie Brain. Can you concur with that? I can concur with you. Sincerely, Cookie, and maybe should have steadied a little more on the left. Maybe. Here's Reuter coming in with a long kick out from full back. Oh, good mark taken out there, Ron. Get the glasses up to pick this player up. Yeah, the uh, interchange player, Brendan Kearney. Kearney, is it? He's a yeah. big boy, isn't he? Takes the mark. Punt kicks the ball towards a centre wing. No mark taken. Thompson gathers the ball well at ground level. Spears a pass into Reuter. They're not done with yet, according to Mick Thompson. As Reuter takes the mark and he punt kicks uh, the Eagles into attack towards half forward. Ricky Neville comes out. door oh, into his way, though. Where was uh, his teammate in? I think that was Troy Morrow. He paddled it forward. Perry comes out. Went well collared, uh, Michael Mustarts. And rewarded with the free kick. And he's cramping to the young fella, but what a great tackle. He, yeah, peeled, he peeled his shoulder, Perry, because he knew he was there, but didn't quite peel it enough and uh, got flattened. Yeah, and he probably won't take the kick either. Mickey Mostert's just down there with the cramp. I'm just waiting to see uh, 
If he's going to take the kick, though, he is not. The ball comes out towards McNamara. Up it goes. Up goes Howard, in fact. It's punched away from Howard from behind. Lands in the arms of Big Thompson. He's in trouble. Loses the ball in the tackle from Cousins. Ball goes back towards Baker. He lays a great tackle here. Or too high, said the umpire. Yeah, initially, and the free tag. kick goes to Palmer. I thought the tackle was all right, but the umpire's close to the nine, and Palmer spears the pass out towards half forward flank position, and he's found a teammate out there who leads out well and takes the mark. Looks like Peter Lang. Uh, it's young Peters. No, Dave it's Peters. Peters it yeah, not much difference. One's about six foot four, <laughs> and one's about five foot one. And Peters kicks them into attack. Yeah, good work there, uh, Mick Howard. Did some good defensive footy on uh, Robbie Reuter. Picks it up and slams it onto his big left foot, but always put it straight down the throat of Mickey Thompson. Wastes no time. Chips over the top to Hoodie. Looks around. Oh, the kick's well smothered. Morin traps it. Feeds off the hand pass to the run of Peters. He runs in from 20 metres in the pocket, though. Very tight angle on the left foot. Shoots at goal, but is offline. One point only to Dave Peters. They're certainly yeah, still running the game out, Ron. Wouldn't say they stopped at all. Oh, great character shown here this afternoon by the Eagles. Take my hat off to him, I do. Yeah, well, you've come out of second division. You're in the big time now. You're playing Corio Eagles. And, uh, yeah, they've been a powerhouse in the uh, Division 1 for quite a few years now, Corio. And uh, full points. The Eagles have fought back from what looked like a massive defeat at one stage. We thought up here anyway. And they fought back very well to get within just four points. The margin has slipped out a little bit now as Etridge takes this mark from the kick in. He's wasting plenty of time. The butter, the father of the year. Punt kicks the ball towards the centre wing position. No mark taken. Alfie De La Monica was there. At the back of the pack, though, Johnny Zulik gathers the footy well for the suburbs. Punt kicks up to the forward zone. Oh, oh yeah, up high. Mark. Almost a mark paid. Has it been paid, Ronnie? Yes, it I has. think it has been paid here to the youngster in Simon Allison playing his first game. He hasn't had the best of days, but who knows? If he kicks this one back to the centre quickly, you never know the game's never over to the fat lady sings, Ronnie. Yeah, good call, cool Cookie. Allison. The youngster, don't take too much time, son. Don't worry about the socks. You can do them up another day. You've got to kick the goal quickly. Now he's right. Steadies, comes in, punt kicks, gets underneath this one, it pulls it away to the left-hand side, a one-point only is going to go on the board to the eastern suburb side, off the boot there of Simon Allison in his first senior game for the club. Yeah, could have been a hero, Cookie, couldn't he? Would have been a handy one, that one won, because, uh, you know, the game's never over to, uh, to the fat ladies. Sings her last note. Here's the kicking out towards Marsh. He runs onto the footy well and takes a nice mark. Attacking side of centre half back. Spins it out wide. Looking out here for a teammate there. Might have been McNamara. Too far for the Darren McNamara. That's the little fellow there. The Rover picks it up there. And oh! Punt punt kicks back. What a great effort there by, uh, I think that was Johnny Cousins. A fingertip and not paid by the umpire. Did well low in spooling. Jared Morin breaking clear. Knocked the ball away from him. Straight out of bounds. Uh, for a throw in, Bird Cabra, Charlie Lecout, and final quarter scoreboard, Carayo 17 12, double one four, Eastern Suburbs 15 9 99. 15 points the difference as the boundary umpire throws in. Lang rises high above the pack, couldn't control the footy as he got there though. Comes down again, Kel Gray gathers, he's on his left foot, he's able to tumble this one round the corner. Back it goes, but Cousins is it, tell him back taking the mark. Matt Cullen. Cullen it is, the 13 Guernsey there. He's been uh, played both in defence and attack since he came on the ground and has been handy in both positions. He takes the mark in the back pocket. Cullen, left foot kick, oh, pushing the back against Lane, not paid. It has been picked out, yeah. That was pretty blatant. I could see that one from here, Roddy, and you know what my eyesight's like. <laughs> that was pretty obvious, that one. <laughs> Certainly, and uh, Mick Howard in no real hurry to get proceedings going, taking his time. Drop punt, lovely kick to Mick, kicks it good 60 metres. Up there they fly, up to half forward. Bouncy ball, or Baker, flying off the footy. Cousins, that was David, tapped it forward. Oh, Alfie Del Demonio couldn't quite control it. Butters up well though to Zelfie. Goes to that back there though, go the butter, got it to Marsh. Quick kick though by the Swamp, not probably his best as uh, we know the Swamp can do. <laughs> Under a bit of pressure though, Swampy, he's popped it over the line on the full. Suburbs are through the agency of Brendan McKinney get the free kick. It's going to be a hard game to give votes in, Ronnie, because we've got the uh, the best player awards coming up soon, and uh, gee, I don't know who I'm going to give them to. It's a bit of a raffle, Cookie, isn't it? There's a free kick being plucked out of this one. Go on the way of the suburbs, I think you'll find. Yeah, and Brendan Keary is, kicks the ball long at the woods centre wing. He's got a teammate, took the mark play, wanted to play on very quickly. That's good tactics at this stage of the game, Ron. Ball tapped on, the siren. siren's gone. The siren's gone as running onto the football was Jason Perry.